Okay, welcome to Simple Pong in Python 3 for Beginners. This is part eight, AI player, and I'm recording this one and a half years after the original tutorial. So I wanted to add something to this. Today, I actually passed 25,000 subscribers on my channel, so I thought I'd do a special episode and make a little game AI. A very simple one because it's a very simple game. So let's take a look and see what we have for those of you who haven't seen the game in a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and I don't normally use Visual Studio Code anymore. I use something called Genie, but I thought to keep it consistent, I would have the same editor as I did last time. Okay, so this is our game. And what I wanna do is I wanna automate this player so that when this player will track the ball. And it's very, very simple. If you think about it, if the ball is below the paddle, the paddle should go down. If the ball is above the paddle, the paddle should go up. That's, that's it. It's a very, very simple thing. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of scroll down. I'm gonna keep the original commands in there, paddle be up, paddle be down. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. And so you can kind of override the AI if you wanted to. I'm just gonna come all the way down here. And again, note the indentation here. I'm using spaces. So I'm gonna call this AI player. So I'm just gonna take a look at the X and, or excuse me, at the Y coordinates. So if the pedal B dot Y core, note the parentheses, is, let's say if it's less than the ball dot Y core, okay, that means that we want the paddle to go up. So then we'll set, we'll just go ahead and use the function that's already there. We already have a function called paddle B up. So I'm gonna go ahead and type paddle B, oops, paddle B, oops, oops, paddle underscore B underscore up, and kind of put a parentheses there. And then I'm gonna go L if, because it's not possible for it to have both conditions. I'll say paddle B dot Y core is greater than ball dot Y core. Again, we're just looking at where they are relative to each other. I'll say paddle B down and parentheses. And we'll see what happens. So it should be pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it and start without debugging in this case. Okay, so you can see how it is moving towards the ball. Now it's a little flashy. Uh, it's a little slightly a problem. And it, but it is following the ball, which is which is what we want to see. Now we got that weird little artifact. I'm not quite sure how to fix that. Let's let's think about that for a second. And I tell you, I'm going to try a little effort. I'm going to try a, a little thing. I say and abs, and I'm just going to copy this because I'm I'm well known for being a lazy person. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say and abs. Uh, that's the absolute value. Uh, so basically, I'm just looking for the difference. And let's see, is let's say less than 10. And let's go ahead and copy that. If it works, I'll, I'll explain a little bit in a little bit more detail. Um, I think I got enough. Uh, yeah. No, that, that's not correct. So hang on a second. Um, it's always, always a problem here. You gotta make sure you have your parentheses correct. And yeah, we weren't using parentheses on that side. So again, this is something, you know, it, oops. You know, beginners have a lot of trouble with, and also people who've been doing this for a while. Those are easy mistakes to make. And let's see what happens. I, again, I don't know if this is gonna work. I just kind of just thought of it. Um, so let's take a look. Uh, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Jeez. Um, let's see, what did I do wrong here? Paddle BY coordinate absolute value is less than 10. Ah, okay, is greater than 10. So I want to know if it's more than 10 pixels away. Okay, so that's that's why it wasn't working. So let's go ahead and run that. Oops, wrong wrong configuration. Let's go to run. Oops, run and run without debugging. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so now it's 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 doing what we want it to do basically. Okay, so it kind of looks like the guy on the left. Okay, we well, notice how it's following the ball. So the ball's going down, paddle's going down. So you can see how that would be a very difficult AI to beat. So I'm gonna leave that at that. 
So let's go take a look real quick at the code just for a quick review and see if I can get out of that thing. I don't think I can because I'm recording the screen. But anyway, uh, so basically I'm just looking at is the paddle is paddle B's Y coordinate less than the Y coordinate of the ball and is it over 10? Now probably some of you who are good at math can probably figure out a way to simplify this. But I want to leave it like this just so we can think about the different conditions that we need. This is the minimum condition. And then this just keeps it from bouncing around all the time. I could change this to 20 or, you know, to give it, make it a larger number. But let's just stick with 10. That's fine. And again, depending on your computer's speed, you might see a slightly different result in, in at least the way that it's rendered. And so in this case, if the paddle is above the ball and that distance is more than 10, and then we're going to move the paddle down. So that is that. Thanks for still watching a year and a half later. This is a, a very popular uh, tutorial, and I appreciate it every view, every comment, and especially every subscription. Thanks so much, everyone.